Hey, welcome to UK Wildgrass. So this all around me is ground elder, Agapodium podograria. A very common edible green that you'll find in woodlands, shaded waste ground and hedgerows. It's believed that it's brought over to us by the Romans as feed to their horses. It's a uh, perennial, so it keep coming back year after year, which annoys a lot of gardeners because once it sets in an area it can completely take over like it has here it's growing all over these uh, hillsides so to identify first we look at the leaves which grow on stems that come straight out of the ground rather than growing on central stems so the leaves are serrated and they are compound leaves which means they are made of many leaflets so they're actually made normally of five separate leaflets. So you've got three at the top and two at the bottom. Now it may look like there's actually seven there, but the ones at the bottom are just split. That's one leaf there, two, three, four, five. So there's normally five, but there can be more sometimes. That's the general arrangement there. So the botanical name Agapodium, I think it's Old Greek. It means uh, goats, foot or goat's um, uh, hoof print which it refers to the free leaves there which the arrangement kind of looks like a the mark left by a goat's hoof so the stems of the flower have a triangular feel to them it's because there's a bit of a ridge running down one side of the stem if you roll it in your fingers, it feels triangular. So the tastiest parts are the, the young, fresher growth like that, that are still a lighter green than the rest. And the leaves look slightly unopened still. You might have to dig through the foliage to find them, like that one there. They've got a really nice taste, somewhere between carrot and celery. So the young growth like that is good, but also the, the leaf stems of the older growth. Sometimes I take those, I don't bother with the leaves, but I just take and chop up the, the larger stems and they've got a real carrot taste to those. So you'll find the, the younger shoots from mid-winter if you dig through the leaf litter, but this is the best time to find them. sort of mid to late spring so the main central stem will grow a few foot higher than that and it will produce umbels of white flowers from usually around June onwards the flowers can look fairly similar to the flowers of the elder tree so that's where it gets its name ground elder from. The, the main stems are hollow as well. So if I'm just eating the ground elder fresh in salads, I'll use the really young shoots. But if I want to eat it as a green, I'll mix some of the younger ones with a fresher looking older growth and I'll just steam it in a really small amount of water there's just a, a little bit there put the lid on to steam it for about 5 minutes so drain off any extra liquid and then just Get a bit of butter into the pan, get that nice and hot. When that's nice and bubbling, just chuck your greens back in. And give that about an extra minute or so just to crisp up and you can cook most wild edible greens in this way 